then that is definitely not. If y'all are into like wing eyeliners and all that, I want to see if this is as good as what I normally use, which is the Rare Beauty uh, Beauty Stroke or Bold Strokes. Uh, this is what I normally uh, use. This is what it looks like. This is a brush tip, uh, so it gets like really fine lines and you can teeter-totter with it. The way it, you know, holds and everything is really nice, but I also want to know if this is good because this is more budget-friendly in the sense that I think this was $20 or $23, so, something of that nature, which I have paid for multiple times. I'm fine with it. I love it. I've never, once I switched to this, I never switched over, so I'm kind of like, hmm, I know, I know I'm on the verge of needing a new one of these uh, pretty soon, as you can see that I had to tape it because they had gotten a little crack in the cap, and it actually started trying to dry it out, but once I taped it and shook it really good, then it's good, but anyways, let's get into this one. Called Pretty Smart, it's vegan, it is, I got the 105 matte black, um, it says it's got a pre precise tip. It's a felt tip, by the way. Um, I don't know if that would make a difference to you or not. Um, I used to use felt tips all the time. Never had an issue with them. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna see if this is really good. Tati talked about it and it seemed really nice, so I wanted to try it. It's a new, I'm assuming it's a new line because I've never seen them, but they're in Walmart and I've never, like, heard of them before until she mentioned it, but it's called Pretty Smart Cosmetics and then... Uh, I think this was like $7.99, $8.99, but a lot more affordable compared to if you're not. Okay, I don't see that the tip is super pigmented, so I'm gonna do a couple... Yeah, yeah, never mind. Yeah, I thought this was gonna be a lot more pigmented. I, um, I won't be using that on my... I'm... D Let me just shake it a few times, hold on. Okay, so I'm going to continue to shake it just a few more times and see if this is better. Nope. I don't know. I am like, like literally bending the tip trying to get something more to come out. Okay, well this will be a video that uh, for the first time ever I will be taking back a product that sucks that I don't know if I got a dud or if there's something to this. I've messed with uh, felt tip pins before and then this one is by Ani and you can Ioni and then you can get it in the Dollar Tree and again this is a felt tip and even like that's what it's supposed to do and it might not be vegan so I'm that's what I'm thinking is that I guess being that it's vegan it's coming out like no and this is considered matte black too so that's what I was hoping for whenever I was going to show y'all how it compared but I'll be taking this back if I got a dud you'll have to let me know if I need to go and try again or if there's a different shade that I missed that I need to get because this is literally the matte black but this is also matte black and this is $1.25 compared to $7.99, uh, $8.99, something like that, whatever. Um, But yeah, okay. Well, I'm so sorry. I wanted to do this review, but uh, I guess technically this is a view review. It's just not what I was expecting it to be. Looking for a good wing eyeliner um, product, then I guess the Rare Beauty one is still good.